Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca here and today I am going to give you my review and demo of the Sydney Grace palette that is a collab with Mel Thompson. We love them. Let's hear it for Mel and Sydney. Sydney Grace, right? So it is the Tiny Marvels palette and I only just found Sydney Grace cosmetics and the what I can see is indie brand, amazing pigmentation, just beautiful shadows, single pans, palettes, um, fun, right, and popular. Like I realize once I found them, I'm like going through and I'm seeing all the different creators that they've tagged and sh feature on their Instagram. And I'm like, oh, what? How have I not? heard of them. And then Mel, I only just found when I watched Wayne Goss do his lipstick launch and she was the like spokesperson, swatcher person to feature his lipsticks and lip liners. And I was like, who is this girl? Because she's just, I don't know. I feel like she is the sweetest she just has that way about her. You just know that she's like a shoulder to cry on. <laughs> she has that way of just being compassionate and sweet and she does beautiful artistry. She has amazing taste in makeup because I, once I started watching her videos, I definitely did shopping from her recommendations and her favorites. And so yeah, so she's cost me some money. She's amazing and she just, uh, she just has that way about her. So I'm gonna swatch this for you and then um, I have a how I got this eye look in uh, the second half of the video. If you wanna skip through the swatches because you've seen it on other channels, be my guest and skip ahead. Totally fine with that. Um, otherwise, here we go. Tiny Marvels. Oh, hello, helicopter. You guys, we get police helicopters like looking for people. Um, yeah, I'm sure all neighborhoods, something like that happens from time to time, but I'm telling you, a little disconcerting, especially at night when they have their searchlights out. There'll be like a domestic dispute or like a hit and run or something and then they have a suspect on foot and I'm just like, anyway. So okay. this is an exclusive, like these shades have all been created by Mel for this palette except Scarab. Is that what she said? I think that's what she said. Scarab was the shade that already exists in another collection or on its own. So cool. Um, but you get 15, 15 shadows. This is like my, per this is, I don't know if you've, I mean, I, this kind of palette, I feel like this is my thing. Like this is the size I always get. I like cardboard. I almost don't even need a mirror, but that's okay. I, I'm, it's nice that there is one, but I like cardboard. I like this size and yeah. You know, I don't need giant or, you know, like a book. Oh, anyway. So I'm gonna do the first row for you. It is a combination of mattes and shimmer slash duochrome, but amazing, amazing pigmentation. Okay, so we're gonna go across the top. I want you to just see it. I'm just showing it to you. I have web, tree hopper, fire butts, walking stick and scarab and that is them look are we ready are we ready clearly you guys okay hang on i did this really dumb we're gonna have to figure that one out fire butts because <laughs> god bless her for calling a color that I have scarab on my eyelid and I love it because it's that like green red and then fire butts is I can't even I just can't get over that shade I really can't it's it's too cute the name wait feels silly 
because I was so awkward with my thumb, I didn't even realize what an amazing swatch that is of Scarab. You can see how it has this like red green shift. It is such a, that's a beetle butt, man. Well, it's a beetle top. I'm gonna hold it upside down so we don't compete with the mirror. Flutterby BB Matt Matt Mantis, dude, dude. I'm gonna do oh, these four first. Here we go. <laughs> right? I mean, this one right here, you guys. This, this Meadowhawk. Oh. Okay, but also love bug. Let's not forget her. So cute, love bug. Here we go. Such a cool shade. It's like lilac. It's that's a really bad swatch. I'm sorry. It's like lilac. It's like it's just purple. It's it's so many things. It's so cool. Oh. All right, and the last row. Oh, look at that. Jewel B. Jewel Bee, Marvel, Death Moth, Bugaboo, and Spider. Spider. I love that movie with Will Ferrell when he's the, the superhero. Okay, Megamind, I love that. Okay, ready, set. Oh, oh, did Jewel Bee get it's due. So, see, my, my pinky's weak. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. The shades that are on my pinky. Oh, I can't. God, it's gorgeous. Marvel, what are you doing? What are you doing? <gasps> ah, okay, and I didn't get spider because I'm... Spider is like... It's not black, but you can line, you can use it like a black. It's like charcoal, it's like eggplant. I have it on as liner. It's so good. And I'm really not doing it justice with that, with that, here. There, there, there we go. Yeah, yeah, that's amazing. All right guys, so stick around and watch me create this look and uh, see what you think. Okay, I'm gonna take a Wayne Goss brush number 18 and I'm gonna put it in Tree Hopper. I'm gonna take that same brush and I'm gonna go in Love Bug. And I'm just putting it all over the lid. I'm going to just be using a lot of colors and doing a lot of layering so that everything is just kind of, <sighs> um, what's the word, ombre? but not really. <laughs> I don't know, I think my neighbor is putting out his recycle bins. Of course, I mean, it's like he knows I'm filming right now. He had all day, but. Go in Death Moth, love that name. And I'm gonna use a smaller brush. This is a Wayne Goss 19. Obviously you can use whatever brushes you want. And I'm gonna go right here, just kind of, I know that's kind of making things darker there, but just want everything kind of dramatic. I want to use all the shades. <laughs> well, not quite, you know what I mean. Okay, I am going to go in the shade Bugaboo. It's kind of, okay. 
so that's all over no that's all over my lid that's on my that's on my bottom lid and then this is in kind of the inner crease and now I'm gonna go in with this one for my outer crease same brush same brush I'll change my brush soon I like the I like the size of this brush and the width I like that there's just not just really kind of gets gets in my crevices <laughs> Sorry, that sounded weird. I'm gonna take an edge brush, something that's kind of short and soft. And I'm also gonna go in that Bugaboo shade and just pull it down. Trying to be, go out and up just enough, right? This is an alter ego edge brush and I'm going in the tree hopper, maybe a little walking stick. I'm trying to pull this shade to the center of my lower lid without adding, I don't want it too dark. You know, if I used Bugaboo the whole way, I feel like I might, I might make it too dark. That's just me. I think that's just sort of a fair, me being fair haired. Such a fair haired maiden, you guys. I am gonna take a edge liner brush. You know, the kind that, um, I don't know, maybe, do I have my Wayne Goss teeny, teeny, tiny one? I just have this Sonia Kashuk. It's, it's like an eyebrow, eyebrow brush. And I'm gonna go in Spider, which, isn't black, but it's like a dark, dark eggplant. And I'm gonna go along the lower lash line just to give it I don't know about you guys, but I mean I re I do like liquid liner for some things, but powder lining your lids with powder with shadow oh it's just i don't know it doesn't stress me out as much i'm gonna take web to put right there and there oh, holy hello Wow, what the heck? What in the heck? Okay, here goes. Here goes. We're gonna take, this is Wet n Wild, Brett Man Rock. <laughs> we're gonna take Jewel B. It's matte, but we're gonna go like so. Okay. a little emphatic there. So you guys know how much I love my magic sealer from Style Vanna. It's like, it's a, it's one of those kind of transforming liquids where you can take, you can put it, a little lid thing likes to pop out. You can take it over any bit of makeup and brush it on and it kind of, it seals it. But what I like to do is I like to use it kind of like a fixer and take a detail brush and then put that, you know, just kind of get the liquid on the brush or get the shadow on the brush and then the liquid, it's up to you. But let's look at Scarab over the top of Jewel B and see if, I mean, we either kind of kill it or we just enhance it, we'll see, right? Or maybe I use my finger and don't use, yeah, I don't know. Ooh, ooh, 
Ooh. I don't know if, yeah, it might not be coming through. Like, oh, this scarab shade though is, oh, it's beyond. <laughs> kind of makes me, Mel, I, I have a new, new respect for bugs. <laughs> I didn't know where I was gonna go with this and I sort of impressed myself. <laughs> Okay, I am gonna go into web one more time for my inner corner, because it needs just a pop of bright. Yes. Okay, so I think that's what I'll do, is I'll just, there's just a little bit of fallout, not much. I'm just gonna clean up, dust, dust off, and then um, put some mascara on and we can talk. I just, I just took Marvel. I thought my camera was on and it wasn't. <laughs> put some on my finger and just went over my lipstick. I like it on the top. Hang on, I'm gonna just kinda go over this heart. I did take on a small brush and add BB, which is this gold shade right there. And I put it just on the edge of Scarab. So I feel like it kind of just, you know, you've got the corner and then it goes to BB and then the scarab and the, like, there's just so much. I mean, scarab is already kind of like a beetle shell, but I feel like I tried to create even more sort of beetle shell shade because I've got so many layers of colors coming through and the metallics and, it's just one of those palettes where you just wanna keep, you just wanna play, you know? And honestly, the, the, there are so many neutrals in here. This, the Death Moth and Walking Stick, Tree Hopper, Bugaboo, Love Bug, like those are such good shades for anyone. Marvel and Webb are beautiful, soft, shimmery shades. So it's not like, oh, look at that. It's like this crazy wild palette. It's not, you know, but you can make it that way. And I mean, I could keep going and then I'll probably just end up with what looks like mud. <laughs> but I, I just, I had so much fun with this. And also I am so happy to find Sydney Grace shadows because I've had a few of you message me and say I should try them, and I didn't even know about the brand, and so I'm really glad I found them, and yeah, yeah. You can go to the Sydney Grace website and you can pre-order this palette, um, and you can also use Mel's discount code, which I think is like Puffin's Wife 15 or something. So the, Restock is supposed to happen sometime mid-September, and probably if you pre-order it, that's a good idea because small indie brands can only come up with so many units, and I think, at first I was like, oh, you know, let's just wait for the relaunch to happen and decide if you want it. I think you might wanna decide if you want it before that and do the pre-order. And I'm gonna say, you're gonna want it, okay? Okay. So yeah, all right guys. Well, I hope this was fun for you. It sure was for me. Congrats uh, Mel and Sydney on this, well, Sydney Grace, sorry, because I know that's Heather, right? Congrats to you both on this duo, this um, adventure, and it's so much fun. And I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope you subscribe to my channel and share my channel and my content with your friends if you think they'll benefit from it. And give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, all that good stuff. And I'll see you next time. Bye.